Om Sai Ram to all the Sai devotees. By the immense grace of Sri Sai Nath Maharaj, let us all now heed to the biography of great apostle of Sri Sai Baba, Pujya Sri Narasimha Swami Ji, narrated in the book As the Flower Sheds Its Fragrance by Dr. G. R. Vijayakumar. Chapter 12 God Realization Face to Face with the Master It was 29th August 1936, Shravan Pournima Day, the Holy Upakarma Day, also Rakhi Pournami, when sisters wish their brothers all the best in life. Generally, Brahmins changed over to a new set of sacred thread after discarding the old one. It is celebrated all over the country as a festival with sumptuous food, and rejoicing in life narasimha swami ji got up at 4 am and was in a pensive mood he contemplated his good old days with his family members at salem in these 11 years of itinerant life he could neither get a guru to guide him nor his confused mind became still he was disappointed and dejected in life he made up his mind to leave upasani baba's ashram once and for all and get back to madras to spend the rest of his life with his eldest son vengataraman and his family he was firmly convinced that he is not destined to get peace of mind in this birth narasimha swami ji was afraid that upasani might influence him to reverse the decision if he conveyed his intention to get back to madras so from a distance he bowed down to upasani maharaj and mentally sought his permission to leave narasimha swami ji came out of the ashram and as he was crossing the cremation ground a 6 foot tall well built man of patan origin accosted him and questioned him ho madrasi sadhu where are you going swami ji answered him i had an itinerant life for a few years in spiritual pursuit now i am going back to my native place the patan pleaded any way you are going back before you leave have darshan of sai baba samadhi at shirdi maybe you could be benefited spiritually swami ji was getting bored with this conversation and hence curtly replied sai baba has attained maha samadhi 18 years ago in 1918 a darshan of his samadhi will not benefit me in any manner i have already visited dargahs of hasrat baba jan tajuddin baba and khwaja moinuddin chisti sharif none of them has made any impact on me the patan was not prepared to accept defeat so easily he virtually pleaded go over to shirdi once Sai Baba is ever living and active. He will certainly help you in your spiritual upliftment. Narasimha Swami ji was looking forward to escape from this adamant patan. He simply said yes and left the place. Narasimha Swami ji's earlier plan was to walk up to Chitali railway station and from there to catch a train to get back to madras but the persistent request of the patan made him change his route and unknowingly his feet led him to shirdi 7 kilometers away from sakori when narasimha swami ji reached shirdi it was already 11 am in the forenoon abdul baba was fanning sai baba's samadhi with peacock feathers 
நரசிம்ம சுவாமிஜி விசிட்டிங் த சமாதி ஆஃப் சாய் பாபா இஸ் அ மெமரபிள் இவெண்ட் இன் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் இட் ஆல்சோ ஓப்பன்ட் அ நியூ சாப்டர் இன் த ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் ரீஜெனரேஷன் ஆஃப் சோ மெனி ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹீ ஸ்டூட் சைலண்ட்லி வாட்சிங் த சமாதி இட் வாஸ் த ஹாப்பியஸ்ட் மோமெண்ட் இன் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் ஃபார் எயிட்டீன் இயர்ஸ் சாய் பாபா வாஸ் கீப்பிங் ஹிஸ் ட்ரெஷர் all the while eagerly waiting for a suitable recipient for his grace and bounty sai baba like a magnificent wave of fire engulfed each and every one of the millions of cells in narasimha swami ji's body and in lutheron granted him a new life the old body of narasimha swami ji was no more and it became sai swarupi narasimha swami ji everything was in a flash of a split second narasimha swami ji became a realized soul then and there and with no time had become a part and parcel of sai baba Narasimha Swami ji's mind which was in utter confusion became totally still his mind was clear as the blue sky he became the receptacle of sai's total bounty sai baba kindled the light of enlightenment in swami ji narasimha swami ji gained something from ramana bhagwan at tiruvannamalai he shared his gains with us by publishing self realization biography of ramana maharishi he came in for some more gains at sakori and he gave us the sage of sakori at shirdi he profited to his maximum capacity and the world is receiving high dividends from narasimha swami ji even at this moment Swami ji said in October 1941 at a group meeting in Calcutta my hunger for spiritual food was not satisfied till i came over to shirdi at shirdi i was given more than i could take i had at last discovered my sadguru he samartha sadguru sainath maharaj and i live in constant communion with him dear sai bandhus we shall now close the 12th chapter of the biography of pujya shri narasimha swami ji and the rest will be continued in the next chapter bow to shri sai peace be to all om sai ram